Hello, everybody, and thanks for watching our YouTube one-on-one -on -one series. We're here with former Packers fullback John Kuhn. John, obviously a great performance against the Vikings on New Year's Eve. What stood out to you the most? Well, I think it was complimentary football offensively and defensively, and both were very aggressive. Matt LaFleur and Jordan Love, they had a plan for Brian Flores and the looks that he likes to try and use to confuse an offense, and they executed that plan to perfection. Jordan got the ball out and the playmakers made plays, and then defensively, being able to apply pressure up front while still being locked down on the back end, Minnesota might have been without their starting quarterback, but they still had some pretty good wide receivers out there, and the Packers locked them down. Was it, in your opinion, their best performance of the season? I think as far as the complimentary goes, it was. Like I said, both sides played very well throughout the game. But still a couple of hiccups that you got to clean up. A couple missed throws. Aaron throws out of Jordan Love. And then obviously that turnover on special teams and one long kickoff return. They can play better, but you say that after every victory. Yeah, now you look forward to the game against the Bears. Winning your in just like last year. Winning your in against the Lions. Couldn't get it done. What do you remember from that game? Well, I just remember a lot of people thought that the Lions were going to be the same old Lions. Well, you can't ever project what a team's going to end up being and look at the Lions this year. They had that identity last year. They found it late in the season, and they showed us at Lambeau Field what they were. This Bears team is a very similar team to what that Lions was last year. Five out of their last seven, they have won now. They have turned it around defensively. They have turned it around offensively, and we got to make sure that we don't let them to make their play style the way this game is played on Sunday. Justin Fields obviously is always a threat with his legs. Matt LaFleur has said the Packers have struggled against mobile quarterbacks. What is the key to defending him? Well, when you get a quarterback like Justin Fields, you got to know very well. We got to get to him, but not by him. So you got to be very disciplined in your lanes. And you also got to make sure that the inside rush is equivalent to the outside rush. So when he does step up in the pocket to avoid an outside rush, he steps right into either an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman coming in to make the tackle. And then on the second level, you got to have eyes in the backfield. You'd love to play some man defense so you can rush five or even six for Justin Fields and try and get after him. But you can't necessarily run man the whole game because in man, your back's turned to the quarterback. And if he breaks, that's a big one. So you got to mix it up man and zone. The Packers players in the locker room have said they'll, they'll go to war with anybody on this team because of how much fight they have. You, you see this team a lot closer than, than most people. What is it about this team that gives them that belief that they were never out of this playoff picture? Well, I think a lot of the young guys are doing this for the first time, right? And, and when you have that common bond, that common link, it really is a galvanizing force. And Jordan Love is doing this for the first time, even though it's his fourth year in the NFL. Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs were here last year, but for all intents and purposes, they are the main guys now. They are the leaders in wide receiver room, really doing that for the first time. And then you got some young guys, Jaden Reed, Dontavian Wicks, Malik Heath, you know, Tucker Craft. They're all doing it for the first time. And when you're all doing it for the first time and you're having success, it's contagious. And when you're young enough, you just might be naive enough to have real confidence even just after a few games. Do you think that helps then going in so they don't have as many scars from last year? I think so. I think they have the perfect little blend of guys who have been there, had that experience in big time games like Aaron Jones and Elton Jenkins and young guys that are talented enough that they can make plays for you while still not having the fear or the scars or the worrisome of what happened last year and not duplicating that. Week one was probably one of the best Packers performances of the year against the Bears, but you think they're playing even better right now than they were in week one. Yeah, absolutely. They had a slow start in the first half of that football game. Jordan Love, I believe, was only around 100 yards for the offense at halftime. They were smart with what they did, um, but they weren't very explosive. A couple big plays in the second half out of Aaron Jones, but other than that, you know, it, it was dink and dunk around that football field. This team is totally different now. <laughs> Jordan Love is airing it out. Packers receivers are making big plays down the field. A lot of that is coming with teams bringing the pressure on them. The Bears are not you know, shy of bringing some pressure themselves. So the Packers are going to have more opportunities to go down the field. And you mentioned those Packers receivers. We're getting help from people that we probably wouldn't have even thought about at the beginning of the year. Bo Melton, the first 100-yard receiver they've had this season. Yeah, and they've had contributions from a lot of different wide receivers and tight ends throughout the year. And Jordan Love, he's non-discriminatory. He is going to get it to whoever <laughs> is open. And that's a good thing right now because a lot of these young players are hungry. A lot of these young players are ready to roll. And when Jordan Love finds them, they get out there and they get trucking. You saw Jaden Reed with a big touchdown run after catch. You saw mm -hmm. Tucker Craft absolutely dribble 
dribble a guy's head off the turf. So <laughs> a lot of really fun things to watch out there as you watch these playmakers get the ball in their hands. Absolutely. Winning you're in. Hopefully the Packers back in the playoffs after missing last season. Thanks for watching our one-on-one -on -one YouTube series. Just head to our YouTube page, WLUK Fox 11.